What's going on, guys? Drones and Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys. So we are here for another quick unboxing of this 40R, 40RC drone. This is one of my first drones by 4DRC. You know, I got this guy on bang good. But before we get into this, don't forget to subscribe, guys. You know what I'm saying? If you guys you want to get you a shirt, you want to get you a drone to dog shirt, hit me up, comment below, and I'll give you the details on how you can get you a drone to dog shirt, man. I got them going for the low, so uh, I will begin putting the order in. So if you are, you guys want to get you a drone to dog shirt, uh, I got them going for a good price. Hit me up in the comments, let me know, and uh, I'll show you how you can get you one. So subscribe, guys. Yes, sir. Anyways, um. Let's get into this unboxing, guys. I've seen this guy, um, Banggood, and I was kind of interested. Now, they was advertising this guy with a 4K camera, uh, electronic, electronics, oh, I can't even talk today. Electronic image stabilization, EIS, okay? Basically, EIS, electronics image stabilization is what they was boasting with this guy. And it was like 109 bucks. And it even has brushless motors, GPS, return to home, um, there's no gimbal or nothing like that, and it has electronic image stabilization, supposedly. Now, we're going to see. For that $109 price, that's a lot of bang for your buck. I'm thinking, like, man, hmm. I was kind of interested. Now, mine was a little bit more than over $109, okay? Mine was, like, right around $120, $130 with tax, something like that, because I got the two-battery version. So, we're going to see what this guy's about. Now, you see it says 40RC here. And it says Y, it's Y's X, but this drone is the F11. I was curious about that too, because I have the F11 Pro. This is the box for it right here, the F11 Pro. And they, they named this the F11. So I was kind of curious, the F11? Yeah, so this is the 4D F11. All right, guys, here's the box it is in. And it comes with a case, I do believe. Let's, so let me get into it. Yeah, already snipped this. It comes with a case. And it's a nice case, says 4DRC. On the case, you guys know how I am about cases, so that's another good thing. So there's nothing else in this box, it's just a cardboard box holding the case. Um, you guys know how I am about cases. I love when a company gives out a drone with a case where you don't have to spend any extra money. I wish a lot of these uh, higher class companies, you guys know I already went over this in a uh, video before, but I wish a lot of these higher class companies would just put cases with all their drones. They make you wanna they wanna make you spend fifteen hundred dollars, six, seven hundred dollars or whatever on a drone and even not even give you a case and still have to buy you still gotta buy that case or the accessories unless you buy the fly more bundle. No I mean you should already give that out if you charging that much for a drone. But I ain't gonna get get into that. You know what I'm saying? Um this is uh the case here. Check it out. All right now so it looks like we do have to do a little bit of assembly. Yeah, and I was wondering how, because when I looked at the drone, it was a it was stationary with legs and landing gear and it had the camera hanging off. Um, so I was kind of wondering how they were gonna package it in this case and they did it really well, guys. Can you guys see it there? Hopefully you can see it. They did it really well there. Everything is packaged well. We, like we got some instructions up here. Got an instruction manual up here, operating instruction manual. It looks very detailed and stuff like that going over the quadcopter you know what i'm saying and it's weird this instruction manual says it's for the 4d f9 and this is the f11 but the instruction manual says the 4d f9 so that's kind of weird um okay now here's the instruction manual for the f11 i don't know why they gave me the instruction manual for this uh but here's the the instruction manual for the F11. You can kind of see how the quadcopter is supposed to look once it once it's assembled. I'll get it closer so you guys can kind of see how the quadcopter is supposed to look already assembled with the landing gear and the camera hanging off. So you see how I was kind of wondering how they were gonna get it in this box. So it looks like we're gonna have to do some assembly here, which is not too bad, not too shabby. And this is some type of card and a bunch of Chinese. Probably going over the battery. It's probably a battery warning. But it's all in Chinese. Let me read this. Is this? All right. So that's a quick look at the instruction manuals, guys. So we have a USB charger to micro USB charger to charge your battery. 
We have the landing gear that you have to install. We have a couple spare propellers, an A prop and a B prop. And we also have a Phillips screwdriver. So that's everything in your little goodie bag that you get. All right. So you do get two batteries, 7.4 volt, 2,500 milliamp hour batteries. And they're boasting, I believe, a 30 minute flight time on each battery. So I got the two battery bundle. And if you notice, there's a USB port right there or the micro USB port to charge it where you would stick this guy in. It's probably gonna take you a few hours, I imagine, to charge it, a 2,500 milliamp hour battery. It's kind of a big size battery. So before we get the quad out, let's get the transmitter out. Um, four double A's that you're gonna need, not included. I believe these antennas are fake. You can put them up if you want to. You got two bumper buttons here. One is to angle it up, angle the camera up, and one is to angle the camera down. Now there's no gimbal. Uh, looks like you got a couple label buttons. You got a power button, GPS button. Looks like we got a auto return to home button. I'm not sure what this button is right here. I had to get into the instructions. That's all Chinese. <laughs> you know, we got some English, but we'll see what it does. Um, and a couple other different label buttons that we'll have to get into once we get this guy out for a flight. And as I said, four AAA batteries for the back. It does have a plasticky feel to it. Here's our phone mount here. Can fit a pretty decent sized phone in there, I would imagine. Also have some LED indicators here. One says GPS, one is a return to home indicator, and one just says auto. I'm not really sure what the auto is right there. So pretty basic transmitter. Um, but for the price point, we'll see what this guy is all about, all right? So before we get the camera out, this is the camera here separately. So it looks like this is a modular camera. So it looks like you can't fly this actually without the camera attached. See here is the drone. Look like we have some LED here, like a light bar here. And we do have some LEDs underneath each motor pod. Now this guy does have brushless motors, which is also interesting for this price point, a GPS drone that's underneath $150 with brushless motors, you know, completely ready to fly, coming with two batteries. It's not too bad. So we're gonna see what it's all about. Now this guy is rather lightweight and that's without the battery in it. But like I said, we're gonna see, we do got foldable props, Brussels motors, um, there's nothing underneath there. You can see the quad is pretty much see-through until you put the camera on. And you do have to install the landing gear. There's some notches here where you wanna put these landing gear at. And you will have to um, take these landing gear off to get the quad back into its case. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and attach the landing gear. There's no screws or nothing, so you gotta make sure they fit in pretty snug, and they do fit in pretty snug. I don't think they will fall out or nothing during flight. They fit in there pretty tight and snug. Just make sure you get them in there pretty flush. So just keep that in mind. As I was saying, you will have to detach these, and maybe that's probably why they didn't put screws in there for quick you know, detachable and be able to put it back in the case really quickly. So here it is, landing gear, sitting right there. Not a bad looking quad. Now here is the camera that's supposed to be 4K. Now I do see an optical flow sensor here on the camera. So it does have optical flow. Here's the lens. I don't know if that's gonna be a 4K lens, but we'll see what it is. And one thing I do notice, there's no SD card slot, so I'm not sure how we're gonna get 4K without SD card slot, but maybe it's like that Ishin EX5. Maybe it does, maybe it interpolates 4K back to your phone. I'm not really sure what it's gonna do, guys. We will find out all of that when we get to get this guy in the air. So we're gonna see how to line this camera up, so to speak. Now there are some bars, some metal bars there. You just wanna line it up with the notches of the camera and just slide that guy in there. And it should essentially lock into place. Maybe I should have put the camera on before the landing gear, huh? Let me see if I can get that guy in there. Is it gonna just... Line it up. Make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. 
should be. There we go. Snapped in place. There's also a little tab there that you can push to get this guy back off. There's a little open tab to get the camera back off. So it slid right into place. All right, guys. So there it is. Not a bad looking drone. Like I said, there's no SD card slot. Battery goes in the back. Let's see if we can get a quick power on real quick. See what it looks like. Uh-oh. Bye, y'all. Check it out. Ha! <laughs> Check that boy out. Pretty nice. So this is the uh, 40RC F11, guys. Turn that guy back off. That's pretty cool. So I believe that's everything in the box. I want to get these batteries all charged up, guys. This is going to be the quick unboxing and first look at everything. Couple spare props, charger, manual. We'll see as we go, guys. So I appreciate you guys for checking it and rocking with me today. We are in the RC cave. Your boy, Drones and Dogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up on that t-shirt tip. You guys want to get in the know. Hey, summertime is coming, so you want to be geared up, right? Holla at me.